Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and today it's meant to be delivery day so we should be having a delivery momentarily, we're just waiting for it to come. I've also got some jobos to do, it looks like the um, black spotted tailed iguanas ripped some of his enclosure about so we've got to do some maintenance on that. We've got to check on the new arrival we had, we had the, um, the Royal come. So we've got to give a check up on them, make sure everyone's doing what they're doing, and make sure everybody's okay. So that's the plans for today. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring the bell for me, and we'll crack on with today's jobos. There we go, everybody. Delivery has arrived. It's all ready to go. So we're gonna open it all up. See what we got. Some of it looks a bit damaged. Got some smashed boxes. A little bit of damage to them, but they ain't too bad. We've had worse. We've had extremely much worse. So we crack on, get everything on the shelves. I'll have to say a big thank you to Morgan. She has made the shop spotless today. Well, yesterday. She's gone round. She's put all the tanks on display. She's sorted out all the cork bark. She cleaned all the back rooms, she did an amazing job. So there you go Morgan, brownie points because you did such a smashing job yesterday. So let's crack on, see what we've got in the boxes. Whoa. We also have a list of, list of jobs left from Morgan. So this is stuff she wasn't able to feed yesterday either because um, we didn't have the food item in stock or basically that's it yeah we didn't we was waiting for live food to come in so there was some animals she couldn't feed yesterday so that's what we're going to do today we go around and feed all the animals that she wasn't able to feed yesterday um and then yeah we should be sweet so we got dark frogs white tree frogs yellow belly toads uh we've got atlas we've got the adult yemen we've got the iguana sailfin and tortoises need veg and the blue tongue needs a bit of veg as well with some cat food so that is the plan also today. So we've got loads of jobos. So let's crack on and get this delivery sorted. I'm gonna start with the little boxes today for a little bit of a change. Oh, oh, oh little boxes. What have you got inside? Oh, are we okay? I've ruined it. All the lot, um, Fruit fly cultures are all destroyed. They're all upside down. Ah, oh, this is no good. This is no good. Yeah, it's all a big mess. Big, big mess. Oh. Let's see if we have some better look with this one. It should be in the big box, because the big box has arrows saying it's got to be a certain way up. But these ones have just been thrown around willy-nilly, because nobody cares. The problem with using the normal post, everything just gets destroyed. That's why I've had to change the days I get the tanks delivered to Thursdays. So that's actually the supplier van. Because any delivery drivers or anything like that would just destroy anything that I ever had delivered. So we had to change it up a bit. Oh, okay. So we've got a uh, brine shrimp for our puffers. And we've got some live bloodworm, which probably could be doing a little bit better. Yeah, it doesn't look the best. So we'll probably have to feed that off today because I think most of them are dead as well. Mm, not good today. Suppliers are letting the side down. They definitely are. Definitely are. Let's see how we get on with the rest, eh? It was very dented, I didn't want to catch the bag. And we got more Leo life again. We go through more Leo life than any other substrate. Oh, there we go. One and two. Got another lot down here. I could probably guess what it is. Can we guess what it is? Is it we got more of the same or we got something different? What do you think? Do we need more Leo life or was that enough? It's never enough, it's never enough. More Leo life, all ready to go. 
impression for all the customers. Oh yes, lovely job. Now we got this one, the super damage box. Okay. Oh, slicey dicey. Okay. What is this? Oh, big box of calcium. Oh, calcium. And then we've got some vines. Nice, those ones are mossy, mossy vines. Very cool. We've got some actual moss. And we got some fake plants. Oh, that's lovely. That's absolutely lovely, that is. We got all that label to put on the shelves. These ones, we've just got live food in, live insects. Live insects. So we can open that, get out on the shelf, and away we go. So before we go around and feed everybody and stuff like that, we've got quite an important job to do. So our friend, the black spotted tail iguana, has been on a little bit of a party last night and he's ripped the guard down from his custom made um, light guard. So we might have to think of a new way of attaching it. Maybe, because what I did last time, I hammered some staples in. I don't think the staples were good enough or tough enough. So um, we're gonna have to take that down and try another way. And we're also gonna be giving South and Dragon some more food today. Try and get it nice and fattened up after having all those egos. So it's going to be calciums, vitamins, and all stuff like that for, t for today. Uh, secret blend of herbs and spices, and then yeah, and then we can crack on and feed everybody else as well. Hey then, buddy. What have you done? You have ripped all your plants down, and you have ripped the guard off. No food. So just got one. Yeah, that's what I did. I put a nail in there. That's what I should do for the rest of it, I think. So we oh, can I do it wherever it is? No, I think it's gonna be better if we take it down and then um, I can do it properly then without trying to mess about. So we do it properly. Is that sitting you there? Can you actually see what I'm doing? Just about. Right, so I know I've got a back one to do. I might, might have to go get the bigger ladders. It's a little bit small. Yeah, I'll go get the bigger ladders. Too small. That's better, I can go a lot higher up now. I've got the proper big steps. Proper job. Okay. So, I've got one round this side, and I've got the one round the back. I feel it now. Oh, it's going to be hard to do. Not the easiest thing getting this in and out. I'll pause it and I'll come back once I took it down. It's not going to plan. I've got this down, but it's not in the tank. What are you doing? You're in the wrong place. I'm in the wrong place, mate. You're not meant to be out. Um, and I've got my arms out. He's going to shred me if I cry and pick him up. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? You want to go back in the tank? Yeah. Can we get him back in the tank? That's the question. And you can get this branch. You might be able to get him to walk on it back into the tank. Hey buddy, no, this way. Hey bud, come on. On your branch. Come on. Get off my camera, don't scratch it, please, don't scratch it. Come on the log, that's it. That's it, come on the log. Come on, on the log and you'll jump in the tank. Yeah, on the log. There we go. Okay, back in the tank. Back in the tank, go on, jump. 
Yes. Yes. I don't know how we got away with that, but we got away with it. Oh, we got away with it, thank goodness. I thought we were gonna have a world of problems then. Good driver's mind. Oh, we! That was close. You had his claws on me GoPro. I think we got away with it. Then we've got a scratch screen. Don't touch that light. Okay, I'll be back in a second. It won't take me long to fix this and be back. Okie dokie then. So as you can see, the only thing that stayed in was this one nail. So I've got some more of these nails. They're square nails. They're designed after the old, old nails they used to make back in the really, really olden days because they're square nails, really, really old. So it's old style. So I'm going to try. Might get some of these old um, staples out and then we'll re clip it down and away we go. Okay, so we're staple free now. I've got them all out. So what we're going to do is pick some strategic points to pin it down. So I can't really pin it down when there's only a thin bit of cork bark. I need quite a thick piece of cork bark to hammer into. So I've just done that one there. Ba, 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 ba. So I'll go around da, 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 and hammer them all in, but I'll do it really, really fast. Waha. Okay, everybody, so that's what we got now. All trimmed down. We also went around with the scissors and cut off any excess that was showing out, so there's less chance of him grabbing it. So there we go, all done and dusted. So I'm happy with that. The, ne the only idea I can think of to change it next time would be to curve the edges in and put it in like a little socket to sit in there. Um, but then we'd have to turn it over and try and get pins in that way to hold it in. I don't think we'd be able to do that. Um, but that's another option we can do. Or we could put screws in there instead of the nails. So that's another option. So let's put this back in the tank so he doesn't burn himself. Very important. We're having troubles at the moment, he won't let me do it. Do you see? Nah. Oh. Remove the bush. Well, we can sort of see, sort of. Nah, no good. The screw's on in the right place. I'll try something else. That was a bit harder than I thought. <laughs> Managed to get it up. He spent the whole time trying to bite me. Then he calmed down. He did. He let me stroke him. And then he realised it wasn't food. He was working on the tank and it was strokey time. So he's been really good. After trying to escape. And you mate. Well, it still makes me flinch though because he's got such a big teeth. If he bites me, it's really going to hurt. You okay, buddy? Hey. Joke is, so I've done that now, it's looking good. We're all sealed in, nice and tight, really, really happy with it. So there you go, my friend. We'll leave you to it. Don't bite the camera, we'll leave you to it. We'll jump back on and uh, do our next lot of jobs. Let's check on our long-term holiday resident. So she's in for a whole month, longest ever resident we've ever had in on boarding. I think she's in the cold end at the moment, so I have a little bunch of switches up to. Hey. Oh, there we go, looking good. Can I hold this up, can I, somehow? There we go. Hello. You doing okay? You gonna feed for us tomorrow, next week? Yeah, you didn't feed for us this week, did ya? Hey. So we give her, a, give her a good health check when she arrived, make sure there was nothing wrong with her, make sure she had no mites or anything like that. So she's doing really well, we're going to let her chill out, have a couple more days chilling, and then we can offer some more food um, on next Sunday. Now we're on our list of jobs, left from Morgan that she didn't manage to do yesterday. First one, feed the dart frogs, or ha, some fruit flies. Let's crack on and get some fruit flies. Okay then, froggies. I've got you some lovely flies. Just got to get them out the tub. Up, oh, 
Come on, we can do it one handed. We can do it. We can do it. Jiggy 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 jiggy. Come on, yeah, jiggy jiggy jiggy. Okay, we got some. We got some. Oh, there he goes, Licky. Mm, licky. <laughs> oh, he's ripping them up. Your buddy's round the back. He's missing out on the flies. Now to give him a ribbit and see if he's going to come out. Or are you going to be quiet and nick all the flies without him? That's what I do. Nick all the flies. Get big and strong. You've got to share some with him though, but he'll find out eventually. Oh, you're getting too close to the camera. So they are, they are one of the most poisonous animals in the world. Well, different types have different variants and different strengths of um, poison. Uh, but these ones here aren't poisonous in because they're in captivity uh, in the wild they have to eat ants to become um, uh, poisonous they have a, the ants have an acid in them and the frogs have an acid gland so what they do is they store the um, the acid in their belly in their acid gland and once it gets to a toxic amount they then leach it onto their skin so well, I'm trying to fatten these guys up because they're a little bit skinny when they came in. Especially compared... Oh, there's one. He, I thought he was around the back. He's a little bit chubbier. Uh, but yep, yeah, so that's that's why they're not poisonous in captivity. Because they don't eat the right food. So we're going to give them loads and loads of boogies. Make sure they get big and strong. We get some nice big fat froggos. That's what we like. Next job today. White tree frogs, small to medium locusts. Let's do it. Come down here with the froggies. A lot of them are all on the top of here, chilling out. So I've got some medium locusts. So we can go around and give them a feed, see if they're hungry. Hopefully everybody shares, nice. We don't have everybody trying to attack everybody for the same food. So our first little froggy is just here. Is this buddy? Wow, oh, chomps. Perfect. Let's get number two. We'll feed that one and then that one and we gotta find the last one and see where he's eating. Okay, froggy number two. Oh, you missed. You got the tongues, you got the tongues. Let go of the tongue. Oh no, get up. Get off it. <laughs> Come here. He's a bit scared now because he had a, the tongs halfway down his throat. That's better. Let go. Let go. There we go. Okay, we're two for two. You am definitely hungry. Okay, number two. Get off the tongs. Get off the tongs. There it is. Why are they attacking my tongs? My tongues haven't done anything. Come on, little dude. I think that scared him a little. You see him? You missed. They're not very good. Try again. No? I'll put one down there for him. Get off. And then the last one is also down there as well. So I've got a couple of locusts down there for him. We just have to leave them to, to it for now because I can't get round there to get to them. And that one's too scared to eat now. Oh, there we go, he's eating. There we go, that was easy. And we've only got one more to eat, really. If we can get him to eat, we're all three, four for four. I didn't want to stress him out. I've left him in there so he can go and grab it himself. He's a big lad, he can look after him, he can find it. Okay, so dark frogs, white tree frogs. Next, yellow belly toads. Let's crack on. Whoa, so they're only little froggies. So I've got fruit flies for them. And then if we get really, if they look like they're eating loads, we could try them on some of the small locusts, but they just seem a bit big to me. 
So we're just going to go fruit flies for now. Get out of the box. Okay, we've got a good amount in there. We'll watch them eat them. So there's frogging uh, toad number one. And if we look up here, toad number two with his yellow belly. Are you going to eat some bugs for me today, sir? Oh. You want to hunt? Oh, I think you got some. Now, are you going to hunt any? Whoop, there he is. No, I think he's up chilling at the moment. As soon as he comes down, he'll have some, I'm guessing. Lovely job. Next on our list today is Atlas. He knows what's happening because he's coming down ready for a feed. Come on then, Atlas. Hey, buddy. What's Alex got for you? Oh, your tongue didn't come out. Wow, there we go. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. I got bugs in my tummy. And I'm a cool chameleon. And you're the beast, mate. Someone wanted to buy you the other day, but I wouldn't let him, would I? I didn't let him. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. You're too nice. You're my little boy, ain't you? Yes. Yes. Let's give you another one. Let me grab a sec. Let me get a sec. Let me grab one. Oh, boom. Wow, lovely. We love the locust, don't we, sir? Oh, absolutely scrumptious. So I'm going to put some in there for you to hunt. Is that okay with you, sir? Yes? No? Okay, you ain't got a choice. Someone's going in there for you to hunt, okay? I'll feed you one more, then you've got to hunt the rest. Ready? Oh, he's a wiggler. He's a wiggler. Oh, oh, it's it stuck. There you go. There we go. So what we're going to do now, we're going to release a couple in. Come on, out. One, two, have another one. Come on, someone else jump out. There we go. There's three. Happy day. Still, we've got moody pants. He's just up here. I think he's asleep. He might not eat because he's asleep. Hey, buddy. He's in the middle of shedding as well. His face is all shedding, but the rest of him isn't. Mm. Okay, buddy. Look. Whoa, good job. Well done, sir. Very well done. So the rest of them, I'm going to put some lovely uh, low decalcium on there because that's what he needs. As you can see, he's got the bent arm there for metabolic bone disease. So we get some of his special calcium and then we can feed him a couple more and the rest he can hunt. Oh, 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 oh. One buddy, freshly calciumed. Wow, proper grabbo. Good lad. I'll put some in there for you to hunt and then uh, we can leave you for the rest of the day. Now we're on veggies and we're going to try some adult locusts on the sale thing because she needs extra nutrients. So we're going to give her an extra bonus feed and we've got plenty of calcium and plenty of vitamins. So first to get this up, the ladder's broke. And we fixed it. Okay, first to get their veg today is Mr. Black Spiny Tailed Iguana. So I don't know where he is. He has a lovely new hide, but I don't think he uses it. I think he just goes behind it. So uh, we'll plonk his veggies in. See if he's hungry. Oh, lovely. Hey, bird. Where am you? You're down the back. There he is. What are you doing? Hey. Veggies? Got veggies? No, oh well. We'll leave him to it, he'll come out when he's hungry. Oh, next we've got the red foots. Oh, 
Oh, we got the red foots. Hello. Hello. It won't take you long to go to that, will it? Look. She's seen it. Where's your little buddy? There he is. Oh, he's coming. Oh, he's going to trot on. Yeah, buddy, I'll give you a heads up. Give you a little boost. There you go. Because she'll eat it by the time you get there otherwise. Lovely, lovely munches for the tortoise. Let's do the horse field. Past closing time now, but I've had that quite a few customers. So uh, I've still got jobs to do. So we're cracking on even though it's closed. The job's closed now. Oh, veggies for you. Veggies for you. Where am I? They sleeps. Yep, them are sleeps. Two bottoms, two tortoise bottoms. Buddy, we got your veggie cat food. Move that water boil a sec. Have to get that moss out as well. Get the moss out. We'll do your fresh water in a sec, eh? Look at that. You got your cat food and your veggies. You don't look very impressed. Look, look. Yeah, no. Have a little munch on Alex. Here you go. Look, it's your food, you silly Billy. Smell. See? There you go. Lovely job. Lovely job. See? Put it here, look. There you go. There it is, look. Keep going. You'll find it, you silly lizard. Come on. Go find it. Go find it. I ain't got it. Go find it, it's there. It's not very far away, you should be able to find that. Last but not least, we've got the sail fin. So we're gonna try and run some adult locusts as well. Whoa, try and get that belly nice and big. Okay, gorgeous. We've got your foods. We've got your foods. We do. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gorgeous. Veggies. And locusts. Hungry? Oh, yeah, it looks like she's hungry. Hey, yeah, pa, 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 pa. Oh, I've dropped one. Here you go. Wow, that's my girl. Yes. What are you going to do, darling? You're going to have the old pack. That's what we're going to do. You needs the foods. And if you're eating them, we're making the most of that. We're going to fatten you up. Okay. Let's get these out. Whoopa, whoopa. Anybody else? That's everybody. Get in. Okay then, darling. Whoop. Watch your toesies. Watch your toesies. There we go. Lovely jobbo. Everybody's happy and fed. Oh, that one's trying to fly. There we go, everybody. I have got some jobs for tomorrow. Uh, we've got to move some animals around. We've got some animals going on to display. Uh, and stuff like that. We got animals just moving around tanks for the put a better sized tank for them because they're getting bigger or they're too small for that tank or so on and so forth. So that's gonna be a job for us tomorrow. So please like, subscribe, comment, and share, ring that bell for me if you haven't already. If you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, she lives up there. If you want to watch a playlist, cool hop, she's over there. If you want to help and support us, there's a link in the description below, or you can click the join button, which makes you a legend of snake on exotics and part of the tribe. And then if you really want to help support us, you can get some Snake Island merch, promote Snake Island, and have stuff nice Snake Island top, socks, jumper, and Fossil Monday stuff. Ooh, ha, ha. So there you go. I'll see you in the future. Bye.